Hey there! Yes, I'm still alive and today's tutorial is this espresso eye look from my Instagram account. Thought I'd share with you how simple it is to achieve. Let's get started! To tell you more about my skin, it has a little bit of redness caused by facial hair removal. So I'm putting a BB cream with a slight touch of green to cancel out the red color on my face. I got the impression that this will turn my face green, but don't worry, this will blend with your skin tone. Next, I mix my concealer with a BB cream again to lighten the texture as this will go under the eyes. You don't want heavy makeup under this area, so that's why I mix the two together. Apply this in a patting motion and then blend well. Set with a translucent powder, I'm using the same brush from my under eye circles for a more precise application and then I'm switching to a large powder brush for the rest of my face. After foundation comes the contour. I'm brushing this on the sides of my nose, on my cheeks to make my face look slim, on the temples and jawline for extra definition. Now, using the same angled contour brush, I'm picking up a rose-colored blush and applying it above the contour I just made. Adding a blush can instantly make your face look younger. Back to the Carmen Claire bronzer, I'm using it to define my crease and lower lash line as well. In a circular motion, apply the eyeshadow with a mini blending brush, then use an even smaller brush for the lower lash. Then, take the deepest color from the same bronzer and apply it to the outer corners. Again, we are just doing an outline of the eyeshadow but at the same time, we're building up a warm tone to complement the next eyeshadow we're gonna use. Apply a matte dark brown eyeshadow on your whole eyelid except the inner corner. We are going for coffee colors, so pick one that is almost black, like the color of an espresso. After this, you may add more eyeshadow to really build up the color. Next, take a black gel liner. In this case, I'm using Kaylin Line Fix Gel Pencil in black, and I'm gonna line my upper lash and bottom waterline. Make sure to be soft and gentle when applying eyeliner so it doesn't poke your eyes. Then using a fine liner brush, I'm gonna smudge this in so it doesn't look chunky or messy. Now, I'm gonna apply falsies and I'm gonna be back for the brows. I'm filling in the gaps with M Pro Brow Pencil in Blonde. This is a wax type of brow pencil so it's easy to set it in place as well by brushing your brows away from your face using the spoolie on the other side of the pencil. Moving on with the lips, I'm canceling my lip color with a concealer pencil like this. Then for the color, I'm using a matte coral lipstick called So You from Carmen Claire Cosmetics and applying it with a lip brush so I don't have too much on my lips. You can stop at this point if you want to keep the matte lipstick but in my case, my lips are always dry so I put some lip gloss to wipe out the dry look. And we're done with this espresso inspired eyes. I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. I am so so sorry I've stopped making videos for a while but I will definitely see you in the next video. Please subscribe to this channel and my other channel Anna Victorino TV. Don't forget to like or share this video. Bye!